Hello, I'm Lisa Tunney. Today I'm going to talk about how to fold a mesa. A mesa is a portable altar. It comes from the Incan tradition. And the way that I learned about mesas is that we illuminate um, stones on our body, energetically speaking, and these stones that we illuminate all carry the healing of that intention. I also feel that we can put other objects in here that are sacred to the owner. And the reason why we have a mesa is that we can lay it out, spread it out like it is here. I have it in a crystal grid fashion that is meaningful to me. And then I can take these pieces to other locations and utilize it in someone else's home or in my healing spaces. Um, so I'm going to show you how we fold the mesa. There are a few pieces that I will not put in there like the feather. I chose two cards for today's healing session and those won't go in there. And I'm also not going to put fluorite in the mesa because fluorite is a very, very soft stone and I don't want it to break. So that will not be part of the folded mesa. And this is not my stone, so I'm taking it out of the picture. <laughs> so you can either put everything, and these are not part of the mesa either. You can either put everything in, clustered in the center of the mesa, or you can place them individually in bags and put the bags in the center, which is what I'm going to be doing. I just wanted to have a little bit of extra protection for these pieces. Now I have stones, I have things that express other things like the Divine Feminine, I have Navajo rattles that are all a part of my mesa, as well as a Siberian shamanic piece. So I just gather everything in the center. One thing that I'd like to talk about with the mesa is that everything at the bottom is a metaphor for the human experience. So everything in this 3D reality is part of the bottom part of the mesa, whereas the top part of the mesa is a representation of the heavens, source, divine, any of those kinds of words. Normally a mesa from um, the Incan tradition is made from wool and it is a square piece of fabric. Mine is not square, so, and it is not wool. Um, so if you don't have a wool piece of fabric, um, just get something that calls to you. I love the colors of this piece, so I had it made specifically for me. And what you do is you um, place the mesa so that it's parallel to your body. Then you take the right-hand corner and you bring it up to the heavens. Now, because mine is not square, it won't go directly to the corner. If it was square, it would. But Basically what I'm doing is making a flat edge along here. And then I bring this flat edge. Now this is the physical body and this area are the heavens that I'm bringing together. I'm gonna to fold this about a third of the way and I'm gonna fold this side about a third of the way. And I'm gonna fold this another time and this another time. Now if you're looking at the bottom, the fold goes all the way to the center. Okay. And now I can feel that my items go from this section of the mesa. So where it stops, which is right where my hands are, I'm going to flip it. And just sort of flatten it out. Now I've created somewhat something that looks somewhat like an envelope. And I'm going to take this flap and place it inside the hole. 
Now, if this were wool, it would be a lot flatter and it would stay by itself. Because it's not wool, I do need to have a cord. And teal is my favorite color. So I'm using teal. And you can kind of think of this like a Christmas present. How you'd wrap ribbon around your Christmas present. And then you just tie it in a bow. And that is how you fold an Incan Mesa. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.